Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now this morning I'm here in Aldershot Crematorium and we're coming to see the memorial plaque of Arthur English. I'll tell you a little bit more about him very, very soon. This is a beautiful, beautiful place. Look at these surroundings here. Amazing, love it. Now, first of all, um, welcome. If you're a new member to the channel, a new subscriber, a new member, you know what I mean. Um, if you're just a new viewer, welcome as well. And um, yeah, don't forget if you like the video today, uh, I'm just in my own little element here, just kicking up the grass. Yeah. Um, if you like the video today, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. That'd be cool. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. I like to read your comments as well. Let's get on with it, shall we, about Arthur English. Arthur English. Arthur was born at 22 License Road in Aldershot. He attended West End Boys School in Aldershot, which is now the West End Centre, from the age of 5 to 14. His first stage appearance was age 10 when he joined a group from Gale and Polden called the Five O'Clock Follies as an acrobat. On leaving school in 1933, he briefly worked at Fisher's Hotel in nearby Farnham before becoming an errand boy in a local grocery shop. After serving in the British Army in World War II with the Hampshire Regiment and the Royal Armoured Corps, reaching the rank of sergeant, English worked as a painter and decorator in his native town and in the evenings worked as a semi-professional entertainer in various local events, polishing up comedy routines. He married Ivy Ruth Martin in 1941. It was she who made his enormous kipper ties out of brightly coloured <laughs> curtain material at the beginning of his stage career. I don't know if you've seen those, but they are amazing. He did wear some big kipper ties. They had two children, Anne Faith, 1942 to 1999, and Anthony, born in 1947. In 1949, while still employed at Aldershot as a painter and decorate, English and his then stage partner, John Carroll, unsuccessfully auditioned at the Windmill Theatre in London. On a second, and this time solo audition, with Vivian Van Damme, English became resident comedian at the Windmill Theatre at the same time comparing a show for Bob Potter. English stayed at the Windmill as the principal comic until August 1950. He began to appear on British television in mainly comedy roles in the 1970s and is probably best remembered for playing the truculent and somewhat bolshy, though not entirely unsympathetic, maintenance man Mr Harmon in Are You Being Served? I loved him in that role, I thought he was great. Which he played from 1976 to 1985, including the 1977 film adaptation. Now if you haven't seen the film of Are You Being Served, you are missing out. You need to go and watch it, honestly it's amazing. He played Arthur, Alf Garnett's mate in Sickness and in Health, another quality show. Be fair, look at yourself, no offence, but you're more ready for a nurse than a wife. <laughs> and most husbands bring money home to their wives, right Arthur? No. If I could take money home, I wouldn't go home there anymore. <laughs> a follow-up series to Death to Us Part from 1985 to 1990. He also appeared in The Sweeney. Amazing, such great credits to his name there. Great TV shows. English appeared in the World Variety Performance in 1951 and 1980. He had been president of Aldershot Town FC, which had been formed out of the ashes of Aldershot FC, the new club badge, depicted a rising phoenix and was designed by English himself. He had also been a long-standing member of show business charity The Grand Order of Water Rats, which he joined in 1970, a freeman of the City of London and an honorary freeman of the Borough of Rushmore. Following the death of his wife, Ivy, in 1975, English began to drink quite heavy. In 1977, he married a young dancer, Theresa Mann, who, she was born in 1955, whom he met whilst performing in a pantomime together at Wimbledon in 1981. The couple had a daughter, Claire Louise English, the partially deaf actress who runs the Hot Coles Theatre, which specialises in plays for the deaf, the performers, John Inman and Jack Douglas, were the child's godparents. The couple separated in 1986 and the marriage was dissolved in 1987. The last four years of his life were spent in Devereux House in a care home in Farnborough. Arthur English died in 1995 at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey as a result of complications from emphysema. After a funeral service at St Michael's Church at which fellow water rat Jimmy Perry read the eulogy, his body was cremated at the park.
So there we have it, some information there on Arthur English. As I said earlier, he was in Are You Being Served, The Sweeney. And um, what I liked about um, people like him and character actors um, is that they were all in those great shows, weren't they, between the 70s and 80s and a little bit in the 90s, but you could see that they would all cross over. They'd be in one show or another in one way or another. So what we're going to go and do now is have a look for his plaque. Now, I've seen a photo of it and it looks beautiful. So I'm hoping, because I've got here today nice and early because it's a weekday and I'm well aware that of course there will be cremations happening today. And I'm always respectful of that. And I always try, as you guys know, get in and out as quick as I can and as early as I can, because I don't want to be um, seen by members of the public with a camera and then thinking, oh, what are you doing? Because uh, that's not fair, and it's not fair to ruin any day that they have um, at a really, really sad time for them. So let's go and have a look, shall we? See if we can find it. Now, I've just been having a look around here at some of the plaques. I think I found it. have a look wow that is beautiful in memory of Arthur English honorary freeman of the borough of Rushmore died 16th April 1995 aged 75 also Ivy English died 22nd of January 1975 aged 56 at rest together in these grounds wow that's so like him that's an amazing picture So there you have it, Arthur English's plaque. Um, it's, it's amazing, they've got some beautiful plaques here and that's, that's cool. Uh, and he made me laugh all the time in uh, Are You Being Served? He was great. So uh, thank you, Arthur. And of course, starring in things like The Sweeney and other great programs as well. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad, I'm glad that I got to see his because um, he was, a, he was a funny man. And what I liked about him was his background as well, the fact that he, you know, worked hard. As, I know, like, back then, people did because they didn't have the social media and stuff like that, but he started from the ground up. He'd done his time in the army, like a lot of them did back then. You know, did his national service. And then, from there, obviously progressed, and he tried and tried, and he auditioned and failed, but he kept going again and kept going again, and that's always a good lesson to learn in life, you know. Don't ever take the first knock back, the second knock back, the third knock back. If you want something, you've got to go and get it. You've got to go and work hard for it, um, and just keep ploughing away, and that's the most important thing and the best thing you can do. Um, and then maybe sometimes have a little break from it as well. So if you're working hard at something and it's not quite happening for you yet just keep plowing away but then learn and know when to step back a little bit and then once you step back recompose yourself get yourself going again and uh, everything works out it always does just keep plowing away right that's enough for me today in this beautiful location look look at it i love it here it's amazing um don't forget to leave your comments down below. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video today. And of course, um, hit that notification bell. wonder what I was going to say then. Never mind. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Ta-da.